with our experience, Mr. Bingham, over the years, now in our fifth year of these Health America High School Football Games of the Week, okay. um, it's a Yogi Berra situation. It ain't over till it's over. Uh -huh. There's no telling what will happen in these games. Uh-oh, look out. Comes a, what looked as if it were going to be a pooch punt, and then it was just plain shanked that time by Josh Albright. And out of bounds on the near side. Every week, Health America is proud to present some of the best high school football anywhere. And next week, no exception. Be sure to join us next Friday for the Health America Game of the Week as the North Hills Indians travel to Kane Country to take on Newcastle. All the action gets started next Friday night at 10 o'clock right here on WBGN-TV, celebrating our fifth year of award-winning high school football coverage. North Hills and Nika High next week from Taggart Stadium. First down, 10 yards to go. Upper St. Clair with the football now after the Bethel Park punt. Went out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Akamando, toss sweep into the backfield. And nothing doing this time. A deep loss this oh time my. for the Upper St. Clair Panthers as Moritz got snubbed down about seven yards behind the line. Great defensive play there, Chris. They tried to go with a deep, deep toss. The unfortunate thing there was it allowed the safeties to roll up and shut the play down. Nick Hint, Hickton came up and turned it back inside, and B Joe Bianca just cleaned up. Second down and 15, so a loss of five on the play with 6.53 to go here in the third period. Sajanski comes out in motion. Now Akamando wants to throw to him, and it's incomplete. Coming up from behind on the play, Nick Hickton once again. And that pass just a little past the fingertips of Sajanski, but he had to be hearing Hickton coming at him. He heard footsteps. Not only that, that pass hung a little bit. And had Hickton gotten a, a little better jump on it, that could have been six. Mm -hmm. Sidelines of the... Bethel Park Blackhawks playing here at home tonight. This beautiful facility in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. 6.43 to go. We're in the third quarter. Chris Shovlin, Craig Bingham, and Keith James on the call. Wing right and a flanker out to the left side. Akamando will take the straight drop. And his pass is caught by Moritz. And he's a bug on the rug, stealing an old phrase from the old gunner. And a first down for Upper St. Clair, a gain of 16 on the pass play. Well, that could get him cranking here in the third quarter. But Rich ran a seam pattern, came off the right side. There, you know, Bethel Park was in a cover two. The, the downside to being in cover two is if you hit it right, your middle is it's always going to be open. You have your safeties dropping off, your linebackers usually going out to the flat, and the, the middle of the field is usually wide open, as was the case there. First down and 10 for the Panthers, a tight slot left formation this time. And again, end around, and there's Moritz with another big blast and another gain of 17 or 18 yards on that run inside. The inside handoff reverse out to the 44-yard line. Another St. Clair first down. Chris, that was a great play underneath the handoff. Misdirection play had, had Bethel Park flowing one way, and a block just came. Great play. Super blocking up front. Number 53 for uh, Upper St. Clair. Just drove his man out of the way and opened up the hole. Now here we come, St. Clair in the 53, by the way, Mike Sullivan with that great block. First down and 10, Akamado with the play action fake, now gives off Sajanski. Almost ripped down in the backfield, but he slips the tackle and goes down, finally, at about the 40, maybe to the 41. He was taken out that time by Doug Dilla, who scored a touchdown earlier in this game on a 37-yard fumble return for touchdown, but we have an injured... Upper St. Clair Panther on the field right now. That? No, oh, that's, I was going to say that might be Sujanski, but no, I see him walking off the field on the other side. Well, there's a guy that, you know, that you don't want to see anybody get down or you don't want to lose anybody in your team, but a guy like Sujanski, you don't want to lose. I can't get a number, guys. Our director, Doug Kennedy, thinks it's Ryan Wilson as we see the play again. Well, he probably has the best seat in the house. He should know. Oh. 
Yep, Wilson got that yeah. back on Had the play. Had his leg record. rolled up on. All right, with the injury timeout on the field right now, we have five minutes, 36 seconds left in the third. It is Bethel Park 14, Upper St. Clair 6. Back in a minute on the Help America Game of the Week. Remote facilities for today's game are provided by Waynesburg College. Make a difference. Scholarship, leadership, and service. Isn't TCI's digital cable service wonderful? Terrific. It's so easy to find out what's playing with their on-screen interactive guide. Oh, great channels, outdoor life, encore westerns, classic sports. I love Turner Classic Movies. George, what do you watch on TCI Digital? George usually watches romance classics with me. Whoops. Okay, let's play cards. Here we are back to the action, and Accomando going to roll out. He's going to fire downfield, and it's incomplete. Over the hands of Moritz, who was outstretched that time, but just a little too tall with that ball. Going to go back to the play before Wilson got his legs taken out from under him. All right. And it's not that he was standing around the pile. He was looking to make a block, and it's just unfortunate. It's one of those things. You know, it's, it's very unfortunate. You're making a block, and then somebody rolls up your leg. Fortunately, he got up and uh, gingerly went to the sidelines. Let's hope he'll be back in and okay. Good player. Third down and a short seven yards to go. Motion by Eric Day. Akamado with a swing pass, batted down. Is that a lateral? Yes, it is. Or is it? No, they're going to play it. They're going to blow the play dead. That ball was thrown. I don't know about that, the, Chris. That looked, like it looked like a live ball. It looked like a lateral. Let's see if we can get, a, get the replay here. It looked like a lateral. It was not a forward pass in my no. opinion. Let's see. He dropped back. In fact, if, if you looked at the official, he wasn't sure what it was. Head coach Jeff Matheny is livid. He's pointing. Oh, he's... that's an opportunity lost. Oh, my. Fourth down and seven. Official timeout. I'll tell you what, from our angle high above the stadium, when we were almost... Uh, Almost back where the pass was thrown. It looked indeed like a lateral. Not a forward pass at all. Chris, you said high above the stadium. The way this facility is here in Bethel Park, you're not you're not in Allegheny County anymore, are you? <laughs> Holy cow, you guys are up there. I think we might still be at the uh, top top rung of the airspace. Let's take a look at this again. It's dropping back. From this angle, it's, kind of, it's, it's difficult to tell. But from, from our perspective, vintage point it definitely looked like a lateral Seb Corradetti was a man, man who swatted it down and then uh, they tried to return it but to no avail and oh now the punt down near the goal line and is it in the end zone yes it is for the touchback all right we're going to take a short time out 456 to play third quarter 14-6 Bethel Park in the lead back right after this on the Health America game of the week on WBGN High School Football on WBGN is produced by the Video House and Green Tree, Western Pennsylvania's premier production facility for broadcast quality animation, post-production, and duplication. Stadium in Bethel Park, Chris Shovlin with Craig Bingham and Keith James, the good doctor on the sidelines, and we've got the hometown Blackhawks leading by a touchdown and a conversion at this moment. 
Bethel Park got out to a 14-0 lead before Ron Blue hauling in a one-yard pass from Accomando and a good drive by Upper St. Clair right at the close of the first half. Now Storino back in. He wants to go long. Angelisi is there. Fingertip catch at the 40, and he is dragged down to the 34-yard line. He, that was a great catch. You know, during warm-up, they were working on that sideline pattern, and Angelisi, he ran a similar pattern, and they caught him right down, at, you know, near the 10-yard the, the line, and he did a tightrope. If you looked at this, they, they rolled out, and he had his man by two steps. And the other thing, too, he had the height advantage, and that made a big difference. He was just a fingertip away from breaking that one all the way, too. Great pass by Storino. Roll out. Roll out to the right. Got some air under it. Great play. Great pass and catch play. Come back to the action. Dan Richmond climbs out of the pile after running it forward on the straight dive up for an eight-yard gain. And Bethel Park has the ball at the Upper St. Clair 25-yard line. 3.28 to play, third quarter. Blackhawks by eight. And threatening again. Now to give straight to the fullback this time, and they're going to run it up the middle. And we'll be close to the first down on this play. Depends on where the spot is. It looked like he got pushed back. At first, he thought it looked as though he may have had the first down, but he was pushed back. in the striped shirts are going to bring the chains out again. Remember that for the best in local high school and college action every Saturday and Sunday, it's WBGN-TV. This Sunday, Central Connecticut State takes on the Robert Morris Colonials at 1.30. I'll be on the call along with Bill Fontana in that game. And remember, we have a full slate of games on Saturday that features a replay of tonight's Health America High School Game of the Week, Upper St. Clair at Bethel Park, starting at 5. And the live broadcast of Hanover at Washington and Jefferson on the Allegheny University Hospital's Cannonsburg College Game of the Week. The WNJ pregame show starts at 1.20 with a kickoff at 1.30. That's all right here this weekend on WBGN-TV. Clock is stopped with 3.03 to play in the third period. Bethel Park 14, Upper St. Clair 6, and the chains are out measuring the down. And it will be shy by about the length of the ball or so. Bethel Park on third down. Blackhawks wearing that orange uniform top tonight. And under the clear night sky, that orange is almost a blaze here on this football field. Under the lights. Straight give and a first down for the Blackhawks. And carrying the mail that time, Mike Enyart, the senior, 5'11", 195. There's a straight hand up. Chris, what I noticed there, as opposed to a couple of the other plays, their offensive linemen tightened down their splits. Which is kind of interesting. You would think that you want to, you know, maybe kind of keep it open a little bit to, to allow some room. But they tightened down their splits, and they still were able to, to be successful in picking up the first down. Two receivers to the left side out of the eye this time. They're going to run it. And stacked up at the line, Dan Richmond. All of a sudden, he burst loose on second effort and is able to dance around that left end for a couple. Dan Richmond ran it into the line. There was nothing there. He hit a brick wall, and the next thing you knew, everyone started to relax a little bit, and here it is. He came out of the pile and started to squirt around the outside. And what do the coaches tell you about relaxing before the whistle blows? You keep going until you hear the whistle. You know, a good example of that was uh, opening week in the NFL, Chicago Bears playing Jacksonville Jaguars on a, uh, I believe it was a, a punt or a kickoff. Everyone thought that uh, he was down. There was no whistle. He continued going. It was a touchdown. And Chicago loses the game. And <laughs> yes. So it can be costly. <laughs> officials are going to come over and well you know what the officials. officials are discussing right now i'd like to know doctor they're discussing 
their Health America coverage <laughs> and making sure that they had the latest.